Your Preneurs Plus, a Unitrust Corporation on New Ventures partnership is happening and you can be a part of it. You want to find out how? Well, this morning I have with me the Assistant Vice President at uh, Reputation Management at UTC. That's Mr. Emil Clifton. Yes. And I also have the Chief Operating Officer at UV Ventures Limited, Julian Henry. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Rokas. Thank, Thank you for having us. Well, Thank you for having us. Though, this, is, this is a very interesting initiative because I, I think that a lot of small businesses, I mean, we saw a lot of people start their businesses within the last couple of years in yeah. the pandemic. And I see you guys are taking this initiative to, to help them out, or to, to motivate them to grow a little bit. Correct. So um, I guess we could, we could start with, who wants to take first? What what is it all about? So so, um, thank you again and good morning to, to our viewers. Rockus, Europeania Plus is a startup accelerator. It right. was created with Unitrust Corporation in partnership with UE Ventures. Um, in the broad sense of a word, an accelerator is any set of structured, hands-on activities intended to support growth. Mm -hmm. We pass you through a series of, of of processes that include training and mentorship and coaching. Oftentimes, the growth can either be personal or business. Mm -hmm. So our startup accelerator, Europrenia Plus, does exactly that. What it does, it looks at building and supporting growth of ideas mm -hmm. and early stage businesses, innovative early stage businesses under three years. What that program actually does and what makes it very powerful is that Unitrust Corporation is offering something called supportive capital, patient capital, capital from a partnership perspective. That sounds very different from a loan. It is, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Tell and me the difference. A, so a capital structure in a business or a balance sheet basically looks at funding from a debt perspective, which is a loan, mm -hmm. or equity perspective, where we come in as a partner. Right. So in conjunction with UV Ventures, mm -hmm. what Julian and his team does is passes you through a boot camp, workshops, training, coaching, mentorship. So you understand the philosophy behind your business. You mm -hmm. understand how to grow the business. What we do is to support that by offering patient capital. Right. So well, let, me, let me jump across sure. to Julian for a second. Tell me a little bit about UE Ventures Limited. All right. So UE Ventures is really part of uh, a, a growing entrepreneurial ecosystem within the UE. So let me tell you a little bit about the UE ecosystem. Um, you have within the ecosystem... Um, within the university, the entrepreneurship unit that provides training and mentorship for students and staff entrepreneurs. You have the St. Augustine Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship that provides uh, IP management and IP um, support services. Mm -hmm. And now you have the UE Ventures. The UE Ventures is really the front-facing arm of the commercialization of all um, innovations, intellectual property, and entrepreneurial ideas within the UE. It provides that sort of real strategic planning, strategic development, mm -hmm. business planning, and hand-holding network development to really provide that sort of launch support service. And have, have many of the, of the graduates of you been able to take up this service? Well, absolutely. So a lot, of, a lot of the graduates right now are working with the U, um, entrepreneurship unit in developing their business plans at this stage. Mm -hmm. This is still a very early stage program. The um, entrepreneurship unit, UE Ventures, St. Okay. Augustine Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, still very early days, but we are seeing a lot of uptick from students mm -hmm. and staff coming into the programs and tapping into the support network that is now there. All right, so you guys provide that support network where you can build, you can give them education, mentorship, uh, they can get the, all the financial literacy they need and all that good stuff. But then we still have the shortage of capital, which is where you, you see capital. That's where we come in. Right, absolutely. so then this program, I mean, well, who's the, who's the target audience in general? Is, is it only UV graduates? Or? No. No. So, uh, no, let me just jump in right there. Mm -hmm. So this is really a, re a huge opportunity. So because of the partnership between what we are doing and UTC, we are now able to provide end-to-end -end support services, end-to-end -end development and entrepreneurial build-out support services for entrepreneurs, not just within the UE, but in the entire national ecosystem, tapping into the UTC's network and tapping into our network. Mm -hmm. So within the UE, you have researchers, innovators, PhDs, professors working on inventions, working on innovations within the wider network. You could have um, early retirees working for 20, 25 years in a, you know, in a, a, a business organization, whether it's a commercial organization, whether it is in the energy sector, and now harnessing that experience, mm -hmm. working on equipment, working in the industry, and harnessing that and bringing that now into business. What we are now doing is, is sort of helping them to figure out how do I convert that skill and that learned experience into a viable, commercially feasible business entity. Mm -hmm. Who knows? They may be even, even able to export at some point. 
Well, as I mean, that's what everybody, every business exactly. wants to grow to that level and, right. you know, be able to help the, the wider ecosystem, right. not just your personal ecosystem, but to help the, the country. Uh, right. I, I mean, I think this is a fantastic initiative. Let me, let me start <laughs> there, right? right? But I feel like there must be some rules. Like, you had to have some kind, of, some kind of rules because it's too good to be true. It can't just be every business come and apply and get through. So <laughs> what's the process like? So, I mean, Julian, Julian can walk you through walk you through the process, but before we actually get but into that... Be, so I know you have, you have three tiers yes. of, of options. So I wanted to speak yeah. a little bit to the financing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what so, I mean. so there's a process to get in, but, but because we see it from a developmental perspective and knowing that in the entrepreneurial journey, the start is probably the hardest part. Right. And that's where it is we come in to provide the support. So there's a micro-enterprise. Mm -hmm. An enterprise where it is we also do a lot of community development. So you have a small company, a shop, you know, uh, we offer $50,000 for micro enterprises what, what what do you consider to be micro so micro mm -hmm. enterprise is really a, 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 the smallest level of an, an, a business enterprise that you can find usually sole trader sole trader Correct. but it could be incorporated but okay. usually less than five employees okay um, including the owner um, typically you have um, recruitment of family members in the business. Right. That's a micro family business. Family and friends you know? kind of thing. them all friends. over Trinidad, yeah, yeah, all over yeah. the region. Family right. and friends. All right, so that's tier one. That's so tier, tier, one. One. For the, for that's the tier one. Second tier is a company that has an innovative idea, or is actually a company itself, an mm -hmm. idea or a company under three years. They need funding for further research and development because their business has impact, right. national impact. Go yeah, sorry, you, you, say you mentioned three years. The company has to not be older than three not years. Not older than three years. Okay. All right, go ahead. So if it is you're already in business and yeah. you have an idea, yeah. not registered or anything like that, you come, you come to us with it as an idea. Right. So it's not older than three years and it's a concept. That's where Julian and his team are fantastic. They move from concept to commercialization. Mm -hmm. Dealing with the whole IP and everything. Correct. Right. $250,000 to further that research and development, all patient capital. And then there's this one company that would have global impact innovative technology, a company that ties to solving one of the problems um, based on UN 17 sustainable development goals. We talk about gender equality, po poverty eradication, health and well-being. Those, Julian could speak yeah, yeah, at yeah. nauseam with that, right? <laughs> we would offer significant investment funding into that particular company. It's going to be over $250,000. We need to come back to talk to you to say exactly Clearly. what it is. Uh, yeah? But I, what's the difference between patient capital mm -hmm. and investment capital? So that investment capital is also patient. But because of the value, that's where it is you're going to have to do. Remember, this is very close to commercialization. Mm -hmm. So there's a valuation of the company that needs to be done. You have to understand that, that capital injection, which is equity, mm -hmm. what percentage of that company would we actually own? So it, it gets, and that's where the process comes in, where an investment committee is created. Julia and myself and a couple other persons at UTC are going to be on the panel working through and analyzing and assessing that business. But I want to let Julian yeah, speak a little more about it. That part of it is really important and really huge. So just to say a little bit about how we, what, what sort of entrepreneurs, what sort of target we are looking at. Mm -hmm. That less than three years allows us or allows entrepreneurs in that early stage to, to tap into this opportunity. This is not an opportunity that is widely available. Typically when programs are launched, it is you must be in business three years and over yeah. before you could access our innovation program or access our funding or financing. Mm -hmm. So this is a huge gap that needs to be you know, um, addressed Fit. and we are now with this partnership is really addressing that. In terms of the setting up of the committees to analyze, that really makes a huge difference. Between their expertise and experience and our expertise and experience, we're basically combining that to sit down with this entrepreneur, really do a full interrogation and analysis of where this business idea can go mm -hmm. and how this entrepreneur can configure this idea to be successful. And we work with this person to achieve that, looking at strategy, developing strategy, and making sure that there's a win-win for both entities here on the table. And this is, this is with particular uh, markets in terms of, uh, in particular industries, I should ask rather. Yes. Or is it, is it across the board? So creative industry, manufacturing industry, whichever innovative idea, whichever industry it falls into. Yeah, you're absolutely on the ball. I mean, creatives, manufacturing, um, ICT, fintech, um, food and beverage. Once you have an uh, innovative, um, you know, dynamic new idea that has the potential to be a game changer, mm -hmm. right. we're really looking for that. Once there's potential here for maybe in future to be an exporter, we're really interested in that. But the key thing is sustainability, the key thing is innovation, and the key thing for entrepreneurs is you've got to bring the drive and the energy to the game.
nice. that feeds into the socio-economic of course. strength and fabric of our country. Of and that's course. the ethos of you know, just cooperation. That's what we were built on. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, How can people apply to be a part of this? Because, I mean, they hear, they hear all this inf information and they want, they want to know, well, right, all right, sure. so I get in, Salma. So it's very, very <laughs> simple. You go to our website, ttutc.com. Mm -hmm. Once you jump onto the website, you're going to see featured links just to the right. Immediately on the feature links, there's Europrenia Plus. Click on that. You get into our Europrenia community. That's mm -hmm. a bit different from the Startup Accelerator. You join the community. Right. Probably about a thousand entrepreneurs are currently in that space. Okay. Um, you jump in, you put in some data, and it carries you across to the Europrenia Plus Startup Accelerator application page. Or you go into a Google search. You are P R E N E U R Plus, and it carries you straight to the application page and just jump in. The application takes about seven minutes. What, what sort of things do I need to apply? Do I need to show my business registration? Do I need to tell my idea? What, what do I need to At do? At that point in time, you need to do nothing. Just, for, just, just go through the steps and fill out all the information. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When, and then after when, that step, what That's happens? when the interrogation starts. Right. right. Yeah, we come in together, Julian and his team, some persons on, on our team, we sit and we analyze the applications. We're yeah. looking for 300 companies. Julian, I mean, I know people will be concerned and say, I have an idea and I'm bringing this idea to the table. How can I be sure that you guys, somebody wouldn't just take my idea and go with it? Absolutely. So this is where the UE Ventures comes in. We have set up a platform that allows entrepreneurs to register. So after you go through the process of basically applying, mm -hmm. and we shortlist that group that we really want to work with, this is the 300, you are on our UE Ventures, Ventures app. You build your own profile that is absolutely confidential. Only you can see your profile. It's online. You can work on it at any time, 24-7. The only other person that is looking at it is myself and my confidential team looking at this project and trying to develop this. So no other entrepreneurs are seeing this, right? Mm. So um, there's, a, there's a high degree of protection and confidentiality that we make sure that we place for our entrepreneurs when we work with it. But another thing I'll have to say, a lot of people ask that particular question. And my answer is invariably, if you have a great idea, go bravely and be first, right? Get it out there. Don't wait for somebody to pick it up. Mm -hmm. People aren't Correct. looking for ideas to steal generally. Right. What they are trying to Correct. do is follow their passions and their skill right. sets. You follow your passion and skill set and be first to market with it. And you're going to be successful. Right. That's a perfect way to end this interview. Gentlemen, thank you so much for thank joining you for us this us. morning. Congratulations. I know this initiative is going to be great because a lot of people need this. And I mean, that's why you're doing it. You take in, take in front and fill in that need. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us. On thank the you for having us. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. pleasure. We'll take a quick break and come back with more. Let me say thank you to Emil Clifton and Julian Henry for joining us this morning on the Now Morning Show to chat about Europreneur Plus. <laughs> a unit trust corporation and new ventures partnership that's happening. Go check out the website for more information.